you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Peace, family. I'm your sister with the curly braids, Vicki Dillard here. So pleased that you joined this amazing network of an African diaspora news channel. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Have a very disturbing but unsurprising story if you've been paying attention to the true Black media. Many of us have tried to give well-known alleged Black activists and organizers like some folk in Black Lives Matter, like Reverend Al Sharpton, um, Ben Crump, Tamika Malley, those types. We've been trying to give those individuals and others the benefit of the doubt. My tendency is always to defend and to believe Black people until I learn that they're just Black-looking people. This latest CNN article from just a few days ago says, why Al Sharpton And Ben Crump are taking up the case of a white teen killed by police. Yeah, you heard that right. The Reverend Al Sharpton and Ben Crump are taking up their first case. Y'all listen. Involving a white person who was killed after being shot during an encounter with a police officer. Civil rights leaders and high-profile attorney who Sharpton has dubbed Black America's attorney general deemed the police shooting of a 17-year-old Hunter Britton, quote, one of the most significant cases in the fight to push Congress for landmark police reform legislation. Attorneys Crump and Devon Jacob, along with Sharpton and representatives from the NAACP, were invited to attend Britain's memorial on Tuesday at BB High School in BB, Arkansas. It goes on to talk about he was fatally shot on the 23rd by County Sheriff's Department during a traffic stop around 3 a.m. outside of a local auto repair shop. It says he was taken, it gives a hospital name, and um, it talks about the officers, the sheriff's officer was identified later, um, on and on and on, that he fired Davis. Uh, eight days later, it says the sheriff, John Stanley Staley, announced he'd fired Davis because the deputy didn't activate his body camera in the time to matter. Family, you may be wondering, okay, what's the problem with them doing that? Members of the dominant society lack and have no shortage of representation. All of the system, the prosecutors, defend their uh, judges, lawmakers, policymakers, the whole system is meant to benefit them. Whenever there's a one-off like this, they don't lack for folks coming to their aid, but you've got these accurate black ambulance chasers that's out here defending members of the dominant society, the very ones that's responsible for the murder of a lot of black people. We need representation, not our open enemy. Family, Reverend Al Sharpton, Attorney Crump, they're further exposing themselves because it's either you're going to be B1 or not. Either you're going to be black first or not. Your open enemy don't need you. This is not a brilliant strategy to get Congress to do nothing when they know that no matter what they pass, if it disproportionately going to help us and you've been asking for it on, under every other name, that means nothing. They're doing this to also, these are the same ones that was giggling and cackling and he and Han with Joe Biden's funny looking self. Y'all remember that? Do you remember being Crump getting so excited when Joe Biden told him he was going to let it ride Air Force One? And being Crump 
was giggling. I'm going to hold you to that, Mr. President. Oh, I'm going to hold you to that. They're exposing themselves. End of story. Bottom line. And I'm glad that this stuff is coming out because this is not a mastermind. There's no way they're going to be able to justify this. These are people that have not stood truly with black folks. They're using black issues to level up and get accesses to places in government and media and to maintain and line their own pockets, period, point blank, end of story. And we're going to keep exposing you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard and follow me on Twitter. Be sure to share, share, share and like this broadcast. Thank you so very much. 250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.